Time now for the News Nation Gut Check. An airline passengers' rights group is calling out Delta Airlines, saying it's shaming passengers into spending more money on expensive upgrades. FlyersRights.org points to a travel writer's tweet last week showing that when you choose a basic economy fare on Delta, a page comes up warning you that if you buy the cheap flight, you'll face several restrictions, including being last to board, last to access overhead bin space, and last to get a seat assignment. The writer's website skipped calls it hate selling when companies show how they hate their customers by bombarding them with extra charges. Joining me is Gary Left, author of The View from the Wing blog. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. What's your take on this? Is this, um, as they referred to it, hate selling? <laughs> well, Tamron, thanks so much. It's good to talk to you again. I, I, I think the thing to understand about uh, Delta offering upsells when you're buying a ticket is it's a very limited number of routes. They offer something called a basic economy fare. And what happened is that Spirit Airlines and other airlines that are deep, deep discounters that offer a lot less with their normal seat, these are the airlines that may charge you to bring on a carry-on bag larger than fits underneath, your, uh, underneath the seat in front of you, um, that will charge you to check in if you don't check in online before you get to the airport. Delta's competing against those airlines on certain routes, and they've decided they have to compete on price. So they're going to offer some fares that are much lower than they used to charge, but on those fares, they're not going to offer you all of the same benefits. They still offer you more than most of those discounters do, yeah. but you know they're going. But during the process, what they have to do is make sure the customers understand that they're getting something different. Because well, the worst thing is that mismatched expectation to think you get what you usually get when you're flying Delta on these particular routes and fares. So the airlines, though, in general, made 38 billion dollars last year in these extra fees from oversized luggage, last-minute tickets, increased leg room. Um, that's according to an annual report that comes out. But this blogger that went on the tear said the term hate selling came out of the frustration of being hit with all kinds of surcharges. Over aggressive upsell by an airline site, specifically Delta.com, with the most passive aggressive restrictions overlay I've ever seen. To being bombarded with buy now or else, false sense of urgency prompts online booking sites. So there you are, you're booking your ticket, you think it's $200, and suddenly you see all of these things that would just uh, whip you up into a panic uh, if you're not necessarily a savvy traveler. Well, travel is very complicated, and there's no question that offering these discount fares that offer less services on the same plane and from the same airline makes it even more complicated. But that's also why it's important to make sure that customers understand what they're getting in the booking process. So I actually applaud Delta for mm -hmm. making it 100% clear, and customers know and don't, by okay. mistake, buy something that is different than what they'd want. Right. In this case, they really are offering fares that are lower than before. Now, we have discounters like Spirit Airlines to thank for that, uh, but when they're competing with those discounters that offer less, right. they're saying, okay, we have to offer less too, and we have to educate our consumers at the same time. All right, Gary, we're out of time. We greatly appreciate you joining us. And by the way, uh, Delta did give us a statement saying that they offer a variety of seats and products, and their goal is to ensure that as part of the transaction, customers have the specific information they need. So what does your gut tell you? Do you agree with critics who say Delta and maybe some other airlines are shaming travelers into buying upgraded tickets? Go to newsnation.msnbc.com to vote.